Greetings and welcome back to Celebrate Every Day with Amazing K. I am Amazing K and it is Tuesday, October 24th and I have with me today my friend and business partner, Ms. Delta McKinstry. Hello. Say hello. So before we get started with what we are celebrating today, let me remind you to please tag and share and like. We are still having the contest going on and we don't want you to just be in here and but we want you to subscribe to this channel and to get others to subscribe to this channel because we have some fun things happening here and you're gonna want to be in the know and you're gonna want to want people that you know to be in the know too so if you get three people to subscribe to this channel your name goes in the drawing but they have to say that they subscribe because of you that's put your name in the comments and that's why they subscribe and your name goes in the drawing and you go in a free trip Woohoo! Free trips. Look, look, you can go here, there, here, wherever you want to go. But you've got to subscribe and get a three other people to subscribe, okay? So, what are we going to talk about today? It's Tuesday, October 24th. And guess what? It is National Bologna Day. Yay! Yay! It's also National Food Day. Yay! So, National Food Day, that is a day that we're celebrating food, all foods. Now, you know, on Celebrate Every Day, the National Day calendar, we have lots of days that are dedicated to just certain types of foods. Like we've had, oh, oh, you name it, we've had it. And, and if, if we haven't had it, it's coming up this year. So, but today is the day that we're talking about eating foods, nutritious. We're focusing on healthy foods and nutritious foods. We're focusing on eating real, you know, or eating clean or however you want to do, you know, cutting back on the sugary drinks and cutting back on the sugary uh, foods and the high in fat foods, the salty, overly salty foods. Now I know I've always talked about it here because I am a foodie. Everybody that knows me, I know I'm a foodie. And then a lot of times when I have food on here, I get so excited when I taste the food because I'm a foodie and I love food. But I am also trying to eat nutritionally and watch my weight because I plan on living a very long time. How long am I going to live to, Delta? 120. That's right. That's the age because that's the number that God promised us, 120. And I'm going to take it, but I'm not going to take it being old and feeble. So we got to watch what we eat. We got to exactly. exercise. We got to walk. We got to drink our water. So that's what this day is dedicated to, focusing on eating nutritious, delicious, healthy. So if you have any healthy or nutritious, delicious recipes, put them in the comment and share them with us. Share them with people because let them know that this is the day. So do something different on your lunch. If you're lunch today or if you're uh, used to eating something that's not nutritious, let today in honor of National Food Day be a day of nutritious and delicious for you. Okay. So this day was celebrated. Well, the day started uh, in 2011 by the Center for Science for Public Interest, CSPI, <laughs> Center for Science for Public Interest, because it's, it's in the public's interest to live healthy and to eat nutritious. So that's National Food Day. Now we're going to talk about Delta's favorite day. That's why she's here. National Bologna Day. Bologna. She loves bologna. This is a person who loves, loves, loves bologna. And it's not just any kind of bologna, I found out. She loves the thick bologna because I made a mistake and got the wrong kind and that wasn't that that didn't go over too well. Mm -hmm. So tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us, Delta, why do you have this fascination for bologna? I can't really answer that question. I just know I love bologna. I have been eating bologna in many different ways, whether um it's just you know fresh or you know out of the pack or um you fry it. Um, many different ways, but my I just like to I like my bologna, and I you know come to like the thick bologna. I like the thick bologna, and um, I've just been for years. I've been loving bologna. I can't answer why, she but I have. I, I love it. I just recently went on a trip, and one of the the snacks that we had in our room was packs of bologna that I took care of. Oh yeah, she took care of it. <laughs> So the thing about bologna that we learned in our research, and it's from Italy, and of course it's made of many different meats, you know, mostly uh, beef, and, and, and but from Italy, you know, it's, it's like pure bologna. But the bologna we have here in America, you know, it's made a lot of different things, different meats. So 
uh, Oscar Mayer kind of has the Americanized it, but in other countries, bologna is called different things. And I mean, like in Newfoundland, <laughs> it's called um, Newfie steak. Isn't that something? They, they see different. it as a steak, okay? Mm, different. Yeah, and now there's different types of bologna. You mentioned about the thick bologna. Tell us what other types of bologna is there. The there. other types are German bologna. I've never had to experience that. I couldn't tell you what it tastes like, but um, German bologna, you have kosher or challah bologna. Mm -hmm. You have our Lebanon bologna. You have, now this one right here is pretty tricky. It's called Lorna, Lorna, Lorna Tumacria. <laughs> That's a mouthful. And you, well, I'll, I'll save that one for last. You have South African bologna, and then you have vegetarian bologna. But my one of my favorites is called rag bologna. Rag bologna, <laughs> like raggedy yeah. bologna. Did you say raggedy bologna? <laughs> no, I didn't say raggedy bologna. <laughs> it's called rag. R a g. It's called rag bologna. And with rag bologna, it is encased in what we call a, like a cheesecloth, and it's cured in there for 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 a period of time. And then once it, I guess it reaches it, it the being cured, then um, it's it's ready to for consumption. And I have to say the difference between the, the bologna that you go to the supermarket and get and what you go to the, uh, your deli and get, if they have the rag bologna, it's a difference. It is, for me, I love it. There's a difference. I love, okay. So it's a difference in taste. It, there is a, a, a much different taste as opposed to, and I'll, the only thing I can say is to experience it is to try it. Okay. And it, there, there is a difference. Uh, much rag difference. bologna. Rag okay. bologna. R-A-G, rag. Yes. Okay. Well, we have to try that because for me, I ate a lot of bologna when I was a younger, a youngster because that was all that was in my lunchbox. When my mom ate, she would make bologna. But you know what? She would make it so wonderful. It wasn't just bread and bologna. She would have bologna with cheese, lettuce, tomato, mm -hmm. sometimes even a little pickles, the little dill pickle, the, mm -hmm. the round ones on there. But and sometimes she would put mustard and, and but, mu, mu, mustard on one side of the bread and mayonnaise on the other or mm -hmm. salad dressing. And we would always eat it and I would love that way. So I made some bologna today, some bologna sandwiches in honor of bologna day. Ta -da! So oh, this right. is actually now, I didn't have the thick bologna, so I put three pieces to make it thick <laughs> because Delta likes thick bologna. And I didn't know that there was a difference. I thought bologna was bologna. So, no. but this cheese, this is Gouda cheese. Wow. This is one different. of my favorite cheeses because usually oh. when I was younger, we always just have the American sliced American cheese, cheese yeah. in the square. But this is fresh Gouda cheese. Mm. So, we're going to try it. And it has, of course, the. the Mustard on, on one side. side and mayo on the other. Hmm. So Bologna. cheers. cheers. <laughs> mm. Mm. Good. Good, good, good. Mm. Now, awesome. oh my goodness, that is good. Can you taste the gouda? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right on mm. point. Tastes really good. So, have a bologna sandwich today. <laughs> Make it nutritious because it is. But listen, oh, one more thing about bologna. Now, sometimes my mom would make it fried bologna. And it's a difference when you fry it. That takes to me the taste. I can I can tell the difference between fresh bologna and fried, fried bologna. Yes. Because it's good and I love it when she does that too. But what we found out in our re research that in some countries they do fried bowls. No, what do they call it? Bologna bowls. Bologna bowls, yes. But you know what they do? You know when you fry bologna, if you know, it comes up into the, a little bowl. It curves up. It curves up like a little thing. I remember I always have to mash it down and put some bread on it. But this bologna bowl, they put things in the bologna like mashed potatoes or rice or other stuff in cheese. But look at this. It doesn't it look delicious. That's like a, reminds me like a stuffed baked potato mm -hmm. with the cheese and the um, uh, uh, mashed potatoes and bacon bits and, oh, you probably could do, you probably can have really fun with that. So on Bologna Day, you should try that. So whatever you do on Bologna Day, put it in the comments, put it on your social media, hashtag National Bologna Day and enjoy. Okay, so that's all for now. I just want you to know that be blessed, be bold, be you. 
And when I say you, I mean your original uniqueness because mm -hmm. you're all unique and you all have something to come to bring to the table and you all have something to celebrate because we celebrate every day with Amazing Gay. All right. Bye-bye for now. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. My baloney has a first name. It's O X C A R. My baloney has a second name. It's M A Y E R. And if you ask me, I will say why I like it every day. Cause Oscar Mayer has the best B O L O G A. Happy baloney day. Bye.